Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, you will learn that how to find the underpass side distance for a sag vertical curve. I have been given a question which states that an equal tangent sag curve has an initial grade of 4% and a final grade of 3% and a design speed of 70 miles per hour. Uh, an overpass is being placed directly above the uh, PVI of this curve. We have to find at what height above the roadway should be the bottom of the sign B placed. Okay. So we have to find this height, okay, uh, for this uh, sag vertical curve. So first, uh, we will see what is given in the question. So design speed is 70 miles per hour, which is 102.67 feet per second. Initial grade is minus 4%, final grade is plus 3%. Absolute difference of grades is uh, G1 minus G2, which is uh, 7%. Stopping side distance. Uh, which is given by the Ashto's formula that is v into t plus v square divided by 2g into a divided by g plus minus g okay v is the design speed t is the perception reaction time which is 2.5 second okay g is the acceleration due to the gravity a is the deceleration rate and capital g is the gradient of the road which here is zero okay so this gives me the value of SSD equal to 727.3 feet. After finding the SSD, now we will find the length of the sag vertical curve. First to satisfy the stopping side distance at the night time. Okay. So for that, we have to assume either the length of the curve is greater than SSD or uh, smaller than SSD. And accordingly, we have to use the Ashto's formula to find the length of the curve. So length of the vertical curve to provide the advocate uh, stopping side distance at night time this is given as when we assume that length of curve is greater than the sst l is equal to as square divided by 200 into h plus s into tan of beta where this uh, s is the sst which is 727.3 feet h is the height of headlight which is two feet according to the ashto uh, b is the in beta is the inclined angle of headlight beam which is one degree and A is the absolute difference of grade, which uh, in our case is 7%. Okay. After putting the values, uh, we get the length of the curve equal to 1260 feet, which uh, we can see is clearly greater than SSD. Therefore, our assumption is correct. Therefore, the minimum length of the sag vertical curve to provide the advocate uh, stopping side distance at night time is 1260 feet. Okay. This is the length of curve. Uh, to provide SSD at night time. Okay. Uh, now we have to find them. Uh, 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 we have to find the clearance height under this underpass. For that, Ashto has provided us another formula that is the minimum length of the sag curve for a required side distance and clearance height. Uh, it is uh, given as if L is greater than SSD length is equal to AS square divided by 800 HC minus H1 plus H2 divided by two okay you can see as uh, see this is the clearance height okay and if l is less than ssd there is another formula given by the ashto which is 2 into s minus 800 into hc minus h1 plus h2 divided by 2 divided by a okay this is when the length of uh, the sag vertical curve is less than ssd okay where l this is the minimum length of curve which in our case is 1260 feet to provide the educate stopping side distance at night time. S is the stopping side distance, which is 727.3 feet. H is the clearance height of overpass structure above the roadway, okay, which we have to find. Uh, H1 is the height of driver's eye, which is 8 feet according to the Ashto, and H2 is the height of object, which is 2 feet according to the Ashto, okay. Since our, in our case, L which is 1260 is greater than the SSD. Therefore, we have to use the first formula that is L minimum length of the sag vertical curve to provide the advocate stopping side distance and clearance height. It is L is equal to AS square divided by 800 into HC minus H1 plus H2 divided by 2. Okay, we already know the value of L, A, S h1 h2 so we can calculate the value of clearance height okay so you will put the value of l which is 1260 a is 7 s is 727.3 okay h1 is 8 and h2 is 2 from this you will find the value of hc so hc minus 5 will be equal 3.6 and or clearance height will be equal to 8.67 feet okay this is the clearance height to provide the 
uh, advocate stopping side distance and the clearance height under the uh, this underpass okay but uh, ashto has recommended a minimum clearance height of 14.5 feet okay to take the uh, maximum vehicle height into account because some uh, vehicles uh, might be greater than this 8.67 feet okay so minimum clearance height is 14.5 uh, uh, feet okay thus we have to place the bottom of this overpass at least 14.5 feet above the roadway surface that is at the pvi okay but desirably at a height of 16.5 feet according to the ashto okay so this is how uh, you can uh, calculate the uh, minimum length of the sag vertical curve to uh, to provide the educate stopping side distance as well as the clearance height. I hope this solution video was clear and effective and you definitely learn something new. If you still have doubts, you can write them in the comment box. I will try my best to answer your doubts. Okay. And if you found this video helpful, you can subscribe to my channel, share this video. Thanks for watching Master Civil Engineering and stay tuned.